Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my entire Coach handbag collection. I am so excited for this video. I know I say that every intro, but I did not realize I had this many Coach bags. I think I have nine of them to share with you. And Coach is literally my favorite contemporary brand out there. I do have a couple other contemporary brands in my collection, but I feel that Coach is at the level of luxury for a lot of their pieces. So I cannot wait to get into this, but before I do, I do want to introduce myself in case you're new here. Welcome, my name is Alyssa, and I have a blog called The Gals Guide, and I come on here and I share and review my handbags. So if you love handbags, you should definitely consider subscribing down below, hit that little red button. I would love to have you join this little community with me here. And to my current subscribers, thank you so much for all of your love and support. I am so grateful for you. I love chatting with you in the comments down below. Thank you so much for being here as always. That being said, let's get into the video. So I'm going to start with the handbag from Coach that started it all for me. This was the first handbag I think in my collection that I bought two of. So in different colors. I loved the bag so much and it is the Coach Cassie. This is in the color chalk which is their white color. I do have like a little twilly on it that I got from Amazon and I absolutely love the features on this bag. It has the back pocket which you can fit your phone in and the top handle and it just looks very like businessy, very casual. It has a really nice adjustable strap here and you have the twist lock feature with the C which I love. And then this bag opens up to this beautiful cognac fabric color. You have two compartments, so you have this large one, this one, and then a center pocket, which I'm just realizing I have a lip gloss in here that I've been looking for, so that's great. And you have a zipper pocket in the back. So this bag honestly does it all for me. This is a 10 out of 10 bag. I'm going to show you the second color I got it in, which is in this plum color. I have a Twilly on here that I actually bought on Amazon. This is not authentic Dior. I'm just going to be honest. Um, so I found that on Amazon. I don't know how. I'm sure it's probably not on Amazon anymore, but if it is, I will link it in the description box below. So same exact features with the back pocket and the gold hardware is just absolutely stunning on this color. And then this one, when you twist it open, it opens into this like burgundy fabric color. So I do have this stuffed right now. But what I love about these bags is they are very easy, everyday, carry everything you need bags. They stretch a lot. So I'll show you like on the side, it's kind of like an accordion kind of look. I'll move the dog tag. But each of the pockets do extend. So like they do get bigger here, which I don't love that look, but it makes it really easy to get a lot in your bag so I do appreciate that I think the quality of the pebbled leather on these bags is definitely at luxury caliber like I think the pebbled leather I think this is calfskin I'm not a hundred percent but the durability of this leather is amazing and I have this in white so I would even wear this with jeans I have never gotten color transfer on the back of this bag ever and I've had it for at least over a year and I do wear these to work I would say I wear them casually I don't say I wear them so much as some of the other bags anymore I do love them so much that I would never sell them and they don't make this style anymore really. I did see they had the Coach Cassie 19 where they kind of brought that back. I don't know if they'll bring this back. I think that they absolutely should but they did discontinue this last year. They have like kind of a different style that looks like it but I will link some of them in the description box below from the pre-loved market. I did buy this one pre-loved because by the time I wanted to get it they didn't sell it in the store anymore so and it was in great condition. I think that these bags really hold up. There's nothing too crazy about them that they're going to like lose their shape or anything. They're just a very functional, easy bag. And I would say they are similar to kind of the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse and the YSL college bag. I really prefer these over both of those. I did have the college bag and it was way too heavy. The strap was way too long all kinds of stuff. I talk about that in my review of this bag, of the white one, and I have a ton of videos on these, so I won't go into them too much, and they're both just amazing colors. 
10 out of 10 bags. The next bag I'm going to show you is the Coach Alley 18 in this color block color. So it has the chalk with this nude color. I don't know the exact shade of this nude, but it has the horse and buggy, which is really what drew me to this bag. And it has like the strap here can slide so you can pull it to be a shoulder bag or wear it crossbody how I have it. It does have an adjustable strap feature, which is really convenient. This would be similar to the the, like kind of Celine box bag or like just kind of that look I'm not saying like it's at that level but the bags that that bag from Dior I can't remember it off the top of my head like the Montaigne bag where you can pull through and like carry it doubled up like see how you can do that so it is really flexible and versatile and convenient I would say I wear this bag as an evening bag the most I love the color block. I think it's really a beautiful colorway. It does go with like pops of color, like if you wear a pink dress or whatever, which is kind of what I tend to do. Like I'll bring this to weddings or dinners and things like that. And the inside is just their kind of staple burgundy interior like painted leather it does have this pocket here which is really convenient for lip glosses bobby pins things like that and then you have like a little pocket back there which i never put anything in and the bottom does not have feet they do have a bigger version of this i have not seen a ton of these in the united states i don't know if that's like weird i've only really seen this color block color and then like a couple different ones like they had a braided kind of look to it. I've seen them on the pre-loved market. I haven't seen them a ton like in store here where I live in the United States. So let me know in the comments down below. I do really love this bag. I think it is a super cute bag and it does everything I need it to do. It's very functional. It does have that beautiful pebbled leather, very similar to the Coach Cassie on here. I would say this leather feels a little bit lighter than the one on the Cassie. The one on the Cassie feels a little bit thicker. I would say this is a great evening bag. I don't wear it a ton just simply because I have other bags that I tend to grab for more. And I do think that this like sliding crossbody feature is really convenient, but I don't necessarily need it. Like I don't wear this really as a shoulder bag. However, love this bag. Would definitely recommend this size as an evening bag because it is pretty small. And I think that this one is pretty affordable. I think it retails for either 350 or something like that but you can find these on the pre-loved market as well the next bag i have only worn this once however i have reviewed it and i do love this bag i love the look of it this is the coach kiss lock the mini kiss lock bag and what i love is the kiss lock like i think it's such a cool feature you just like twist it and it pops open i do have the dust bag in here but it's giving it like a very vintage vibe and i really wanted a red bag but i don't wear a ton of red so like this is kind of like my christmas bag honestly or when i'm just looking to look like a little edgy with like an all black outfit and a pop of red i just love that that's like literally chef's kiss i'm not even kidding so I really like the texture as well and I like the little studs because it adds a little bit of an edge. I love how like tiny this bag is. It's definitely teeny. You can't fit a ton. I will say I do notice the one thing that is a little bit annoying is when you open this like the pockets open. So if you had stuff in the pockets which I never put stuff in there this opens with it. So it's kind of weird but I think the look of the bag is great. I wouldn't say it's like the most functional. I think it is a statement to wear and it's cute. Like I love the little details like the C and everything like that. And I have seen this in black. I think this would be more wearable every day in the black. And I believe the studs on that one are gold, which is really, really pretty. I mean, I have a million black bags. Let's just be honest. But I think the red is the perfect shade of red. And I love how it has the thin crossbody strap because it just makes it really dainty and cute. Like this is definitely a nice little dinner bag. I don't recommend it as an everyday bag just simply because of like this functionality and then like I think the twist is really easy to get into but it's not giving you like a ton of room like it's just kind of like as far as you can open this as as much as you can fit so you can't fit a whole lot it's not a bag that stretches so if you needed to use this as an everyday bag I wouldn't recommend this size I know that they have a bigger size but I do really love this as just like a cute little piece to add to my outfit. The next bag is one of my favorites. 
This is the Coach Pillow Tabby 18 in the gold metallic color. And this bag I have been wearing nonstop. I love it. I love it as an evening bag. I brought it with me on a few travels. It is really tiny, so like you can fit even less in here. I do have it stuffed with the dust bag. You can fit a phone, so I'll show you. This is my 12 Pro. That does fit in that front pocket perfectly. Like you can't get anything else in there with it. But it does close like you'll see you can fit like your wallet and stuff behind but it is a really teeny little bag but I think that's what I love about it is like the look of how teeny it is and how squishy this pillow leather is amazing you're gonna see in a couple more bags I've got a lot more pillow bags to show you but this was the first one that I got that really just started it all for me I love the gold because it goes with everything that I wear it's just the right metallic it's super light and I love the look of the bag just overall I love the puffy C and it does have a very generous adjustable strap I don't wear the top handle on this bag uh, you'll notice this bag does come with a a top handle it's like a puffy looks the same it's exactly the colors the leather I took that off I really don't need it I don't wear it with the handle I really prefer this crossbody and honestly I would take this strap off and just wear it as a clutch because I think that's absolutely adorable I wear this out to dinner I wear this as an everyday bag when I don't need a lot and it just works for me I absolutely highly recommend this bag in this size I think it looks great on the body and it fits just enough like when you just need the essentials the phone the wallet the lip gloss and a key that's literally it and I do have a full review on this so I will link that down below next up is my favorite bag of all time it's my favorite bag out of this whole collection it is my coach pillow Madison in the black which I absolutely love and adore I wear this bag non-stop I wear it to work I wear it out to dinner I wear it every day I love the black on black look like way more than I anticipated and I love this bag more as a shoulder bag than I ever thought that I would I love the straps on this it's very lightweight really comfortable to carry I love the back pocket it has a magnetic back pocket which actually for me takes it a step up from the Cassie however you can't fit as much in this back pocket as you can in the coach Cassie it has the same twist lock feature as on the Cassie and then I do have this bag stuffed right now but you have this beautiful interior with the suede on the bottom and then you have another magnetic pocket here on the front which is absolutely so convenient I love this bag so much that I bought it in another color which is right here and this is the army green color I adore these bags like this color is definitely a very neutral green it's very olive a little bit sage toned to it but it is called army green and it has the same features on this bag however the inside is a little bit of a different color I will show you it is the green all the way through so it has green suede instead of that cognac on the bottom so I think that these bags are so lightweight and easy to carry the pillow like leather on all of the pillow bags is amazing but I think because of this like quilting on it it looks so expensive so luxurious when I saw the black bag in person I had to have it like I I had seen this on the website and thought oh like wow beautiful but it looks a little bit bulky and then when I tried it on and I just I picked up the bag I was like I have to have this like I don't care how much it is so these retail for $495 in the United States I did pay full price for this one this one I bought on 24s which is a website I don't know where they're based but it's definitely not in the United States. I believe it's United Kingdom, but don't quote me. And this bag was on like mega sale. So with duties and everything, I ended up spending like 300 and I want to say $50 or something like that. Maybe a little bit more than that just because it was like taxes, duties, shipping, all that. But it was discounted down to like 200 and something dollars like 296 or something something like that and I couldn't pass it up and I hadn't seen this color in person but I just knew when I saw it on the website 
it's just the most beautiful green and I think it goes with a lot that I've been wearing. I do wear the black one more. This one is newer to me. I've only had it for like the past two, three months maybe. This one goes with like all my work outfits and it's just so easy to take with me from morning to night and I just love the look of the black on black it's so edgy and this green is definitely very neutral still I do wear it with a lot if you don't own one of these bags and you're thinking about it you're considering like the YSL Lulu or something similar from a luxury fashion house definitely consider these bags I have so many videos I'll link in the description box that give the full review I also compare this to the YSL Lulu bag in the size small and spoiler alert, I do think that this bag is superior. Next, I have this cute little bucket bag in this peony pink. I think that's the color of this. It's kind of like a corally pink. And then it has, on the inside, it has that like same red leather. I did get this from my local outlet. But you have two pockets and a little zipper pocket here. There are no feet on the bottom. But this is like a little dinky tiny little bucket bag. It is kind of similar to the size of my Gucci Mini Ophidia bucket bag. I would say that one's a little bit bigger and does fit a little bit more. This one doesn't stretch quite as much. That one is canvas. This is a like leather but this leather is pebbled but it's not the same quality as the Coach Cassie. It's more similar to the Alley. Like if you can see if this will focus, it's like a very smooth pebble. Like there's not like a lot of texture in the grain, if that makes sense. So it is very, very, very lightweight. But I'll be honest, this bag feels a little bit cheaper than like the thicker leather on the Cassie or even on the pillow bags. Like I would say the pillow bags have the most superior leather I've ever felt. And it's the most like delicious, <laughs> buttery, smooth leather that I've ever felt. So this is a little bit different. Like going from that to this feels a little bit more inexpensive. However, what I like about this bag is it's very lightweight. It's a cute pop of color. It's very dainty. I would like to get like a chain, like a like a chunky gold chain, you know, to kind of hang here, like give it a little bit more oomph, if that makes sense. I really like the pink. I haven't worn this a ton. I've probably worn it once or twice since I've gotten it. It is summer right now. I think this is a great spring bag, and I love the size. It fits what I need. I do have a video of my outlet haul. I don't have a full review on this. I don't feel I have, like, enough experience with it, but if you're interested, leave that in the comments. I can do a full review on this bag if you want. Last but definitely not least is my Coach Pillow Tabby in the 26 size. This is in the evergreen color. I'm not sure if that's the exact name of it. But this is the beautiful pillow leather and it is the larger size of the 18 that I have in gold. And this has beautiful gold hardware which I love with this deep green color. It's like foresty green. And it has this very nice magnetic closure with the button here and I did just pick this up for my local TJ Maxx. I have a whole video on it. I'll link it below. I got this bag for such a steal but I do have the top handle in here. I don't really like like wearing the top handle with the crossbody. I also have a lip oil in here I just found but so I prefer to either wear this with just the crossbody or with just the top handle. I think this bag works a little bit better for me with the top handle just by itself just carrying it it is like big enough to kind of carry and it looks like kind of trendy and cute like on the shoulder because you can this strap is long enough to wear it on the shoulder and then I'll show you the inside it's just this pocket in the front and the back and then a zipper pocket back here I absolutely love this bag I haven't gotten to use it enough so I don't have that full review but I am gonna do an updated review and a comparison on this bag wear and tear things like that as I continue to wear it we are coming into fall so this is definitely gonna be a fall bag for me I love the leather again I can't stress it enough I think the pillow leather is so luscious so delicious you have to feel it for yourself like if go to one of the coach stores and just feel this leather but so I don't want to say too much on this because I am going to do a full review so stay tuned for that but I do love this bag so far so that is going to conclude this video thank you so much for watching if you're still here with me if you have any questions about these bags leave them in the comments down below I would love to answer those for you thank you so much again for watching and I hope to see you in my next video